one. Well, it looks like we could have our first uh, round of severe weather across portions of western and central Wyoming. This will be for tomorrow, though. Today, just a couple isolated showers and thunderstorms, but tomorrow could get interesting if things set up properly. First thing we'll take a look at the uh, overall severe weather outlook. All these graphics come out of Norman, Oklahoma. They're the experts on this. Anywhere in the yellow area, that's a slight risk of severe weather. Anywhere in, say, Buffalo Cast, we're onto the east, basically along at east of I-25. The green area here, that's a marginal risk. Basically, think of anywhere from, say, Grable down toward Warland. That's where the and on to the east there. But just about everybody will have a chance of a thunderstorm as we head toward tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. Now, we have three things we think of severe thunderstorms. Strong wind gusts, hail, and tornadoes. We'll start by taking a look at the strong wind threat. That follows those areas just about perfectly slight risk, basically following... Uh, this yellow area here, that's a 15% chance. Now, you think 15%, what does that mean? About one chance in six. And just think of a, a dice you roll in a board game. Chance of it landing on one number. That's within about 25 miles of any point. One in 20 chance when you look at the uh, brown area, but just about anybody could have a strong wind gust out of a shower or thunderstorm. This is Wyoming after all, and it's pretty common. Now we look at tornadoes. Now, the best chance of tornadoes from this, looks like it'll be further on to the south, down toward the front range, but there is chances in zero, definitely. Anywhere east of I-25, Buffalo, down toward Casper, about a 5% chance within any 25 points, so mile point, I should say. So that's about one chance in 20. About a 2% chance buffering that in the green area here. Can't completely rule one out in this area, but the chance is very, very small here. Now, the big threat out of this, I think it's going to be large hail. With those rotating updrafts, it keeps that uh, rain up in the thing. It can grow into larger, larger hill before it falls out. Okay, it pretty much follows the uh, slight and marginal risk areas, about a 15% chance of this. I wouldn't be surprised to see this raised up a little bit as we head toward tomorrow when the other updates come in. Buffalo down toward Casper, again, Grable, Warland, Lysak on the east, about a 5% chance. But just about any storm, we have small hail as we end the tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. Now, that's round one of what we have to worry about. Now, round two, after the severe weather's over, we have some locally heavy rain that could cause some flooding problems. This is what we expect for total precipitation as we head from late Wednesday night, basically when the severe the thunderstorms end, until about Friday night. So what we ever get from the thunderstorms, plus this. Now the hardested area, once again, eastern portions of the area where the deeper moisture is going to be, basically Casper for Buffalo, anywhere from one to two inches here. But any place east of the divide could pick up maybe a half an inch, maybe locally an inch and a half of rain over these next two days here. Now this isn't going to fall all at once, and the ground is fairly dry right now, so it can soak up the rain pretty well. The main threat out of this is a lot of the foothills between about seven to 9,000 feet. Snow levels will be fairly high with this, so a lot of that snow could melt out pretty fast with the rain coming in. So it could be some quick rises in creeks and streams, maybe some local flooding as well. No flood watches at this point, but we may need to issue some as we head toward uh, today and maybe into tomorrow as well if things look good for this. So as we time out the impacts, severe thunderstorms will be the big threat tomorrow afternoon to tomorrow evening, best chance east of I-25 and between 2 and 8 o'clock. Now we shift to the heavy rain and possible flooding potential. That'll be Wednesday night into Friday with the best chance on Thursday. Again, hardest hit areas from both these areas and these threats, the Trona, as well as Johnson counties. I mentioned the snow levels. Don't have to worry about the lower elevations, but the higher elevations, especially above about 9,000 feet, could be some accumulating snow. Maybe up here on top of the Bighorns, could maybe be a foot of new snow above about 10,000 feet. Be safe, everyone. Enjoy your day.